right, so this is my ROV. Uh, it's all homemade, all designed myself. It's got five bilge pumps. It got three 500 gallons per hour bilge pumps and two 1,100 gallon per hour bilge pumps. It has two 12 volt halogens in the front for lights. They're pretty bright, they light like everything up. It has a camera in there, just a little camera in the middle right there that sends a live feed to the laptop. But, um, and then I have a GoPro on the top here for the video because the camera in there isn't uh, like cinema quality. So we don't get to use that. Uh, it weighs like 25 pounds so that it's neutral buoyant. All the tubes are full of air to make it lighter and these larger tubes keep it stable in the water. Most of because the, these are all full of lead pretty much. Uh, we have a 100 foot extension tether. Uh, we have two 14 gauge wires or something, two ethernet cables and a rope and then over there we got the camera, it goes to a laptop. Like I said before, it's not the best camera. I have a whole system that boosts the camera signal up to get into this uh, over the 100 feet. And then we have this magic box to control it. Uh, basically what it is, is the switches send their signal through a simple ethernet cable. And uh, the signal from those go into the ROV. It has uh, a bunch of relays. It has a relay for every bilge pump. And the relays, the signal from this tell the relays whether to turn on uh, the common power from the top. And the common power is a 4,400 milliamp three cell LiPo battery. That's a decently large battery. Uh, so that's pretty much it. I'll fire the bilge pumps. This is the off for this deal. And we have lights. You probably can't see them now, but at night they're really bright. But there are lights. And then look, look at this. I can see them. Then we have forward. There's a two in the back. And then for turning, so I can turn one way, turn the other way. Uh, this is submerge. This is ascend. And this is reverse. Um, pretty much. Submerge, ascend, and reverse are 500s. And the two forwards are the 1,100 uh, gallons per hour bilge pumps. So that's how that works, pretty much. So let's put it in the water. All right, so here's some footage of the ROV driving. It's going really slow right now because I haven't put the foam on the tether yet because I need to find the foam and it needs to be perfectly neutral buoyant anyway and it'll probably take a while. So, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some uh, little pieces of foam every like foot or two to make the tether as neutral buoyant as the ROV, which will make it go significantly faster and be really a lot better. Uh, here's some, some footage from an underwater. The underwater footage isn't very exciting because the uh, pond we went to, uh, it's really a really pretty pond. Under the water, it's really just a bunch of sand. The ROV, I built a separate pod that's the same shape as the ROV with the windows and stuff. And I dropped that down in the water and tested it to about 80 feet and it was still fine. So this thing could go easily deeper than 80 feet. I think it could easily go like 200 feet, but we don't have anywhere really around us uh, deeper than 80 feet unless you go way out into the ocean because that's near us. But as you can see, all the bilge pumps are moving and you can definitely hear them going. You can hear the low thrum of the two. And then, of course, the other ones. Yeah. That loud splashing is that loud splashing is the down bilge pump, so that's why it's so loud. And then of course it's just going forward. We didn't go we didn't take it out too deep today. Uh, first of all because we only have a hundred feet of tether, and second of all, because there's no point really in this pond. This pond isn't a very exciting pond, it's a boring pond. But we will we will take it some many other ponds and many other cool places and maybe like hunt for stuff and stuff like that. That's all to come in the future though. But yeah, here it is.